Greetings, my wonderful figments! Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3 Part 21! We have been playing as Desmond for a while. Actually, I think it was probably the entire episode. I forget. Yeah. And we went to Manhattan. We got a second, um, Animus Power Source Rubik's Cube thingy-majig. Tried to find the socket, couldn't find it. I had this weird vision up just up those stairs over there, the lit stairs. You go up there, you can have this cool little vision where Juno talks to you and explains their efforts to try and stop the solar flare that happened back in their time. Uh, talked to my dad. He apologized. Admitted he did a crappy job raising me and it was kind of a sweet little moment. And uh, talked to Sean. He says he wants to try and go back 70,000 years to the point Good luck, of the... Thank you. Of the first civilization. Which would be sick. And I would be excited for it if I didn't know this was Desmond's last These game. troubled times. And look at his ropes! The already uneasy alliance between the crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? All these things I must determine. For only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop them. Sequence six, here I come. Seventeen seventy three. Kana, spare a moment. Of course. Have a look. Ha <laughs> ha, rope dart. What is it? Xing Bao, or rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Shao Zhen. Whoa. Sorry. We'll have to work on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was c uh, clumsy. Clumsy. Clumsy thumsy. I love the Ellen show. Ganondogo. Yes, my uh -huh. friend. What brings Whoa! you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came. Claiming we had to leave, they said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. They sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Satcham, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He's called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. So what am I. You have me do. I made a promise to my people. If How the you hell is this? this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. He'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. <laughs> uh, meet with Peg Leg in the homestead about kids' treasure. Maybe I don't wanna. Oh, whatever. I'm so excited we have the robes now! Ah, you can visit the Harbor Master for more naval missions. Well, I don't wanna do that right now. I'll save all the extra stuff for after the story mode is done. Are you kidding me? What the hell is that? What is that? I'm going to investigate this. What the flippin' hell? What's going on? You idiots! What do you think you're doing? Oh, shit! He's gonna push me off the edge. No, go over here. Disarm, motherfucker! I'm coming! Well, that was a surprise. <laughs>
What's going on here? He's not dead, is he? Thank you. No. Thank you. Are you all right? I think so. Didn't do much to me aside from a good scare. Blaggards. What did they want with you? My purse, which was meager, and they decided to punish me for their trouble. Oh, carriage. Silly, really. My tools and equipment were worth a king's share to the right man. In any case, I had best get on my way. It's a long walk to the nearest inn. I thank you again for Stay your at my time. homestead. Have you no home? Oh, well, I was a proud resident of Boston until recently, but I'm not a supporter of his majesty, and, well, I was forced out of my woodshop and home by loyalists. There are plenty around here who could use the services of a skilled craftsman if you were looking for somewhere to settle. Is that right? I may look into that. You're welcome. All right. Well, we saved someone. A bit by accident. I was just going to investigate some smoke, and then this guy comes flying down. I was like, what is going on here? Must intervene. And we'll go to Boston. Oh, maybe the frontier. If I walk up to you slowly, can I pet you? I think I saw that in okay, maybe not. Fisherman! If you hook me, I swear to god. Oh, they're not fishermen. They're definitely not fishermen. <laughs> I'll freaking no, I'll hide in the marsh. Is that an explosive barrel? Ugh, I have no more bows. I mean, not bows, arrows. Well, I have a pistol, right? I don't have- oh my god, I have nothing! Except a horse whistle and some money. Come on, I wanna blow them scotch frickin' high! That was a reference to another YouTuber, and I will probably get flack for that. But screw you! It's a bear! Not- no, no. Oh dear. It's a waterfall. Eh. Another bear! Another bear! Oh god damn it. This is not good. Okay, I did not see why there. X. Do you mind? I'm trying to fight a bear! Oh, I hit B. Come on, you are kidding me. Yeah. Mount. Mount! Run! What the hell? There were three bears there! Oh, I'm not in the mood for hunting anymore. I'm scared. And up. Uh, really? Run, horse. Too deep for the horse. Oh, get out of here, horse. Go drown. Why did there have to be like five bears? That's like not even fair. I'm gonna climb trees. Whoa, hey! Wait, no, fight! <laughs> why do you, why you no fight? You make me trek throughout the entire frontier and you give me no tools to entertain myself. What, were you kidding? No freaking way! I will learn to do that with my tomahawk one day. One day! I've already tried and I almost chopped my toe off. And it seems we're almost there. Yep. Now exiting the frontier. Are you sure you want to travel to Boston? Yes! Shut up, Animus Woman. Alright! Oh my- What?! Whoa. Um. Is this even fair? 
Maybe if I just walk, they won't bother me. This looks like where I where I killed Silas. This looks exactly where I killed Silas. As Haytham. Major deja vu. If I run, will they bother me? Doesn't seem to be. All right. Well then, I'll run. Excuse me. Move. Can I hide in here? I'm not apologizing for nothing, bitch. Alright, now here we are in the real Boston. And hopefully the marker will start getting closer sooner rather than later. Chickens! Almost missed him. Excuse me. Pardon. <laughs> Excuse me. Sanctions and demonstrations won't suffice. Oh. I'm talking about more than a sternly worded reference. Page. Come here. Oh. Oh my God! I got it. I got the Almanac Page. Oh. I'm so happy. All right. Hello, kind sirs. Samuel! Hello, sir. On Johnson's trail. Let's go. Johnson's trail is the hunting trail. Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Well, he said you. It's like, this is my boyfriend, Sam. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Paul Revere. Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who was compelled to quarter British troops. Or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crop. Why do they always do that? They cut it off when we get there and I'm walking the same speed as he is. Sorry everyone, I gotta pause it here. I hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play. Leave a like if you are. And I will see you in Assassin's Creed 3 Part 22. Until then, farewell my wonderful figments. Farewell.